what's going on outside. So I'm going to be showing as many as I can. We had a lot of viewer photo submissions. Alan and Alex, when I was out, shared these as well. But these are a few that I was able to catch up on. Kepler Pass is one of my favorite spots, and it's one of my top recommendations every year to go see fall colors. It's out near Crested Butte, so it's a bit of a drive from Springs or Pueblo. But if you're going to go, I would say go over Cottonwood Pass before it closes for the season. You'll get some fall color there. And it's the largest aspen grow in the state. It's one of the largest in the entire country. Now, when we take a look out at this one, this is on Adobe Peak, just this old country road from Rod Smith, and Vicki shared this with us. Beautiful with that fall foliage on each side of that old road. This one was stunning. I'm gonna get out of your way so you can take it in more. This is the Telluride area from Bruce, and this is such a beautiful photo. The mountains drenched in snow over by the Telluride and Ridgeway area. Fall foliage at its peak down there when he took that photo over the weekend. Peter was out near the Maroon Bells, which are known as some of the most photographed peaks in Colorado, if not all of the United States. And this grove it was particularly beautiful in front with another famous place in Colorado history, Owl Creek Pass from, from Bruce. That's where John Wayne's True Grit was shot, where he says that quote, fill your hand. So I was shot out and around that area. Here's what's going on today. I've got a perfect fall afternoon coming on through cool and breezy weather kicking into the forecast for tomorrow that's thursday dry in the extended forecast and then we look into sunday things are a little chillier and they're a little cloudier now today looks amazing outside with highs in the 70s pueblo close to 80 but a little shy and we've got 60s in the mountains when we get to your super seven day forecast so yeah the big thing that we we're talking about is there's no rain in the forecast and for this week, tomorrow's probably the coolest day. We get a cold front that'll make it a little breezy. Fire danger's low. Average high is 66, so that puts us pretty close to an average day for Colorado Springs. And we do get a little cooler into Sunday, but some of that is a cold front and more cloud cover, keeping us chilly. In Pueblo, oh, it's such a beautiful day tomorrow with a high of 72. A little breezy in the daytime. Gonna be awesome through the extended, but we do get some more 60s through Sunday and Monday. Canyon City. We've got 70s on Thursday and then beautiful weather going into the extended from Sunday through Monday. And as we get over towards Woodland Park, also completely dry in the long term, just seeing a little bit more cool down by Sunday, Monday.